I'm going to run through another example of using binomial expansion. Uh, and this time we're going to expand 1 plus 2x to the power of 5. So we're going to go straight in with this one. So we're going to have 1 to the power of 5 plus, right, well, we go to the fifth row of Pascal, so we'll look at this one here. 5 times 1 drops in power, the 2x increases in power, and make sure that 2x is in a bracket, regardless of whether it's negative or not. The main reason for that is that otherwise it's likely that you're going to make a mistake with, it, with uh, putting it to the power. Okay, and I'll show you that in this, this next line. So we're going to have 10, 1 reduces in power, and then we've got 2x squared. And this is where the mistake is going to be made. Because if you don't have that bracket, the likelihood is that you're just going to think it's x squared, not 2x squared. Okay, so put the bracket in. Then the next line, we'd have 10, 1 reduces in power, the 2x increases in power. Then we've got 5 times 1 times 2x to the 4. And then finally, we're going to have 2x to the 5. So we have 1 plus 5 times 1 times 2, so 10x. Then we've got 10 times 1 times 4, because the 2 is also getting squared. So 10 times 4 is 40. Then we've got 10 times 1 times 8, so 80x cubed. 5 times 16, so 5 times 16 is 80, so 80x to the 4. And then finally, 2 to the 5, so 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, so 32x to the 5. And that is the fully expanded form of 1 plus 2x to the 5.